Hey, how's everybody doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. The body beat down here, Michael. Today is hump day, Wednesday, and arm day. So we're just gonna do a couple of quick clips. We're gonna do a, a movement or two that I'm not all that real familiar with and I haven't done them really enough to even say I've done them. So stick around and uh, let's get a good workout done. Uh, I wanna give a quick little shout out uh, before we do that though to uh, John at uh, over at uh, Mac Bean Scottish Fitness. Go check out his channel. Uh, he does a lot of cool stuff. He works out. He represents for us older guys over the age of 18 or over 50. Yeah, probably over 50. I just want to say thanks to him. He sent me a, a holiday card, a Christmas card, uh, and uh, thought that was nice of him, and uh, I appreciate it. I've never been one to really do that, but uh, I've always wanted to, and I've bought cards and different things I just never have done it. so but uh, I do appreciate it and uh, it's just uh, the thought that counts so uh, go check out uh, Mac Bean Scottish Fitness John over there and uh, like share subscribe to his channel all right tell him I sent you not I but me Michael body beat down not I he won't know who I is so anyway guys let's get started with our quick little workout we're just doing a couple of clips enjoy Close grip bench press. I never do these. Let me know in the comments if I do them correctly. One seventy five close grip bench press. some easy bar skull crushers. Now typically I use a dumbbell, a single dumbbell with two hands. Today we're going to use the easy bar just for something different. And uh, so uh, it's kind of a new experience anytime I do this because I don't do it all that often. So I don't even know how to hold the bar if I want to do it wide or narrow. <clears throat>
All right, we got 115 in hopes that I can get it even back here. Sometimes things are a little awkward. Not totally crazy about it. All right. Oh, that's heavy. This is when you know when is too much. Uh, number one, I'm not used to doing it with an easy bar. It's a lot of weight, and I didn't get the weight up there real well. So I'm not going to go that heavy. I'm going to take some of this off and uh, recalculate, guys. And it's okay to do that, especially with movements you're not used to doing, uh, like this one. So let's redo that. All right, we went down to 85. Let's see if we do that a little better. And I got it back on me a little easier. So at 85, even that was a little tough. Uh, this a little bit different and awkward, oddly enough, than the one dumbbell that I do, the 100. So it's a little bit awkward. Plus it's uh, digging into your skin a little bit with the knurling on the bar. So it's a little different for me. I may do one more set with 85, then I may drop on down uh, back to 65. So, there you go. You live and learn, and you, you know, live and learn. All right, guys, here we are. We are done with that workout. I told you it was just going to be a couple of quick little clips, nothing major. Um, just want to touch on uh, the skull crushers. Two things. Uh, number one, you'll see that I took on a little bit more weight than I was comfortable with, but I was also man enough and humbled enough to uh, stop the set right there and uh, drop the weight and get out some good reps. So uh, sometimes that happens when you're not used to that movement. Again, I'm used to doing it with a dumbbell, a single 100 pound dumbbell is uh, as heavy as I ever go. And uh, they're terribly heavy and difficult to do. And that was just a little bit heavier. And I thought, well, I'll be able to do it because it's a bar, but it was still, it was really awkward. So anyway, uh, don't, don't be scared to try something and then drop back down. Don't be scared. So uh, anyway, as far as that goes, there's that. And something else on Skull Crushers, uh, something I want to touch on is I see some people out there uh, going way too heavy, i.e. what you see me try to do, and they turn their skull crusher from a pivoting movement into a hinge movement, uh, uh, from a hinge movement, a pivot, into a, uh, a press. And uh, a skull crusher is supposed to be a hinge move. You're supposed to be bending at the elbow. Uh, a lot of people I see sometimes going way too heavy, 
and they'll get maybe one or two reps that look decent, and then it, it, it ends up being more of a press. So if you're gonna do that, you might as well do some close grip bench pressing. So anyway, I just wanted to touch on that, and I'm not a form uh, police guy. I don't care how people do stuff, but I will say with a movement like that, you wanna make sure to, to do it, to do this incorrectly, because you do get the, the most out of the movement with this. A lot of movement, there's little tweaks and different angles and different ways you can do stuff, but really for, for the uh, skull crusher, you want to try to make that a hinge move uh, so that you get the most of it. And uh, anyway, uh, not, not uh, a horrible day. I got a nice pump, uh, moved some decent weight, nothing too heavy. Also on the close grip bench press, uh, I don't really do those. Uh, I can't say it's my first time doing them, but I can say I've probably done them less than five times easily over the past 25 years, uh, probably less than five times. So uh, they felt pretty good, uh, getting yourself kind of situated where you need to go, not just your, your hand width, but also where you're going to come down and uh, where you decide to touch down at. Me, I found that if I, uh, I came down more kind of under my chest a little bit, it felt a little bit more comfortable uh, on the wrists and uh, right here where I'm pivoting, uh, where I'm bending my, uh, my arm, it kind of was pinching or something. Maybe it's because my biceps were really pumped from the workout, but they were really pinching like in this area. So I found that once I kind of came down and uh, started touching more about here, it felt a little bit better. So you just got to kind of work, uh, work uh, with stuff like that and figure out what you're doing. So anyway, guys, uh, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to me, The Body Beatdown. If you found something somewhat entertaining and helpful, useful, inspiring. And if you did, let me know in the comments and also let me know what you're doing in the comments uh, to inspire me. It don't even have to be working out. Just anything awesome going on or anything serious you want to talk about, leave it in the comments. I don't care. Uh, that's what we're here for, guys. All right. Get up, get out, get red. Do it to it. We'll see you next time on The Body Beatdown. I don't know what day that'll be. I don't know. Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it!